Okay, so this is the second time I've downloaded this because the first time I did it, the words and um, audio didn't match and I couldn't stand it anymore, so I restarted. People have had a problem with this up church video. Either people totally believe it, only believe some of it, are attacking him over it, etc. But I figured I'd um, watch it and give my commentary and try to remain unbiased while also insightful. And I'm sick right now, so I sound a little gross. And I'm always holding my baby, so you may hear noises. Um, but I'm going to be moving into our new house soon, so I'll have an office with a mic there. And hopefully the sound and everything will be so much better for my videos. Onward rise out there the better off we're going to be for for finding a uh, kylie and that was continually the goal i think it comes down to uh, lots of factors and like i said we're going to debrief and try to figure out how do we become better and, and do a, a better job at, at you know these types of operations why did agencies believe it was an abduction at first i think that you can never take that off the table and so as we talked as a command group and, and unified command with all my partners that you see behind us uh, you couldn't remove that off the table because we hadn't found her and so you know, that was some of the struggles with some of the services that we wanted to obtain and, and things we wanted to do, but we couldn't say it wasn't an abduction, but we also never said that it wasn't. So right there, he says services we wanted to obtain. Um, and the first time I watched this, now this is like the fourth time I've watched this, but um, sounds like they really wanted to get the FBI's help and everything. And now they're saying they never said it was an abduction. They never said it wasn't an abduction either. I hope they they wouldn't suggest that it's an abduction just to obtain resources. That sounds a little weird. Abduction. I think that was clarified uh, fairly early on, um, but we also probably wouldn't have received all the services and all the people if that wasn't an option. Did any of the juveniles, anybody mention a car going over the side, a car in the water, out of all those? I don't believe that that statement was made, not to my knowledge. Was there any indication that this was an accident or a foul play? That's still being investigated. If, if we'd like, we could turn it over for CHP and give some information. Uh, they are conducting the accident investigation, utilizing their making my opinion he wants this over with so bad um and chp who he's calling to the mic is california highway patrol good morning uh, josh ellers assistant chief with chp valley division based in sacramento which truck is a part of um, i can't confirm that our department is conducting a fatality traffic collision investigation we're harnessing all of our resources working with all of our partners here uh, as you see we're utilizing our mate team our multidisciplinary accident investigation team to harness more data from the vehicle that was recovered also, we've utilized all of our air resources to map and video and take photographs of the area in question. And that's currently ongoing, so I can't comment on the nature and details of that investment. So last night, I went and I read, like, every article from the last week about Kylie Rodney's disappearance. And several of them have been post-edited um, and have been changed to Jolisa Fuentes information and articles about that so half the article is about Jalisa and half the article is about Kylie which is kind of annoying trying to find out when stuff was prior reported um and as far as the area in question uh, one of the repeating themes that I kept seeing is that three investigative teams or organizations had searched that area prior to AWP going out and finding the car in 35 minutes. So that was disturbing. They also kept uh, responding with the fact that the water was three feet vertically more shallow and 20 to 25 feet less wide to the shore. And I said that was kind of annoying that the articles had been changed. I think it's great. It's awesome. Jaleesa's getting coverage. That's not what I mean. I'm just saying, trying to go back and see what was reported when and exactly how having it changed later on um, just makes it hard to know accurately when what was reported. So I think it's great Julissa's disappearance is getting more coverage, just so that's clear. But I certainly appreciate all the partnership that we have here with our local county and state partners. We'll continue to assist in any overarching way that we can as an agency. So certainly crisscrossed and a lot of extensive movement in that area continually throughout this time of year. Is there any suspicion that it could have been another car who maybe hit this car, or was it a one-person car situation? I don't have that information that I could comment on at this time. Um, what I can tell you is we'll do a thorough investigation. We'll take. So just making note that the reporter asked if there was only her car involved or if another car could have pushed the car in. 
and was involved in. He wasn't willing to answer that right now. So that's interesting. Every bit and piece of information that we have, including what's already been provided to us, and we'll reach some conclusions that will be provided to the parties of interest at that time. And the, the vehicle is uh, taken down. The FBI has offered up assistance and are going to be uh, helping to conduct investigation regarding the, the vehicle itself and um, making sure that we don't miss something that, that may be in there that we're not aware of. Even though once you find the answer, on hindsight, everything looks 2020. the reality is, is it's not that simple. It is pretty complex. Was there more than one body in the vehicle? No, there was not more than one body in the vehicle. Now, granted, this, this man's brain is probably fried from the last couple weeks in their endless searching. Um... But it is very strange. He had to stop and think about whether there was only one body in the vehicle. There likely could have been tire tracks or some type of signal that a car did go into the water there. Uh, did rain impact that? Did this heavy activity in the area impede seeing those signs? I think everything's a factor, but again, that's where we rely on the, the mate team from CHP to come in with their expertise and be able to provide some of those answers. At this time, can you tell us? Surely, I hope they had the scene coordinated enough that the search efforts wouldn't interfere with finding tracks or other signs or clues that she had gone into the water. There aren't any signs of foul play. At this time, we're not going to be able to say anything like that. It's, it, it's been said that people were drinking at the party that night. Was anything found in the car that could be? Call me crazy. It won't be the first or the last, but tell me it doesn't sound like dude has a voice changer. And it's on 1.25, so normally that makes people's voices faster and higher pitched, and his voice still sounds... Insanely deep. Do you believe that, that she was drinking that time? Or a person found once? Yeah, the investigation's ongoing, so we're not going to be able to comment on that. Do you have any theories as to how the car got in the water, and also what gear was the car found in? I think if I make up theories, then I'm just guessing, and I'm going to lead us back into a trail that's not certain, so we'll wait until we have those facts and details. I think a PR person would tell him to have never said this. The fact that he would have to guess what gear the car was in. It'd be better to claim he knows, but that they're not willing to share that information. But instead, he says that he doesn't want to risk guessing to create alternative theories or rabbit holes. And as far as the car, we're not going to release any information. I wonder if they'll ever share anything about the vehicle. Until we've done a solid investigation. Uh, none of us were aware of an initial, so we tasked the investigative sergeant. So he just said that none of them were aware of the initial. And I think this is where he ends up going into saying there were sketchy details about notification to the family. But we know that AWP notified the family and then the grandfather and the father were there immediately. So for them to say it was sketchy, as well as Sammy's adamant rejection of the posts, posting that she it was not true, taking it down and then reposting that it was not true, and then deleting her Instagram. It's bizarre, to say the least. With contacting them and reaching out. So I believe, best I know, we did that proactively on our end. And they contacted the family? I think there's still some sketchy details on, on exactly how that contact went out. Um, so I don't want to speak on behalf of the family. All right, so look, I was getting frustrated. I was like, dude, fuck it. I'm going back to the fucking beginning. I'm going to go over this whole entire case again. I get like three-fourths away through the video. I see something pop up in related searches about some lady named Ann Hatch. I get to looking into it. It takes me about, I don't know, 10 minutes. All okay, before he goes into this Ann Hesh stuff, Ann Hesh did die. Rest in peace and, and prayers for her friends and family. Now, I don't think he thoroughly explains what he's saying, and I'm just going to assume I can understand what he's saying by saying that people speculated some strangeness surrounding her death. She gets up on the gurney, and it's clear her body has those responses and instinct to get up off the gurney, or to get up on the gurney and awaken and be like, what the hell is going on? But then they said that she was brain dead. So there has been theories that her death was a little sketchy, um, considering she was supposed to be coming out with a movie or a documentary and talking about things some people may not want her to talk about, which I'm even afraid to say right now, but I think he's saying there was fake news connected to that, which does happen. And I have family in big news stations, and I always say a lot of the time I would ask them, so what's the real story? And it almost always would differ from what mainstream media was reporting because it's about money, it's about views. 
and informing the public however they want to inform the public. So just having that in mind, while what he's saying is very radical, I just wanted to interject that, to have that in mind while listening to what he's about to say. All this stuff is fucking bullshit. Yeah, you heard me right. All this shit is bullshit. All of it. It's all bullshit. Show me one thing that's real. You can't. There ain't one. You know why you can't find nothing on anybody? Because nobody's who they say they are. You know all these crazy leads we all been getting and then it's just a fucking deep rabbit hole full of fucking question marks and <clears throat> trails to other fucking bullshit rabbit holes? Because they're supposed to be bullshit rabbit holes. You know how these people on the internet, these YouTubers like the Ixmail guy, the Xanime, and the Ronnie Jones dude and all these people, do you know why they don't care to tell you, oh yeah, well, my friend was at the party and had cocaine. You know why she don't care to fucking canoe in the lake? Because there ain't no fucking dead girl, bruh. There ain't. You notice since the beginning, it's been like a fucking reality show with all these people calling in and popping up and I have information and, uh, uh, well, your information looks sketchy. No, it's not. Oh, he's crazy for calling her information sketchy. You see this big fucked up dumb pyramid? They're doing it on purpose. The reason they're sticking their fucking neck out there is because there is no actual crime. The only crime that, that is going on is a fucking a scam to get GoFundMe money. Yes, this is the new, hello, are, are you a great fan of mine? Now, I don't know if I agree with every single part of that. I don't have enough proof either way, but what he shows is very compelling. Um, I do think it's concerning and... If this were any other case, say the Summer Wells case, if they were, and they have collected money from what I've gathered and people talk about it, if they initially collected $63,000 from the jump, I think there would be questions. But because there isn't as big a mess as, say, that case, um, it's harder to comprehend that there would be anything like this going on. But... I can't name another true crime case where the family collected that much money from the very start. And I am heartbroken. I'm not saying nothing happened. I'm not saying that at all. But um, that money is somewhat of a red flag. On Facebook, yeah. This is the fucking YouTube version. The Ann Hesch lady, the video everybody's freaking out about where, where the person raises up when they're putting them in the ambulance and everybody's like, yo, what the fuck, look at this video. That ain't real. Look at the video. No, I do think that that video is real. I think what makes it confusing is because of the conclusions they make medically later on. It doesn't match up to that video, and I think that's wherein lies the problem. Um, but because of seeing Anne and even seeing her on YouTube channels or YouTube channel, Popcorn Planet, during the death trial, the mannerisms of the person on their gurney are sadly just like Anne's mannerisms. But I think it's because of what was claimed later on that makes it seem unreal. And Ryan, not that you'll ever see this, but there's even ring footage. I have like a little short on my channel of her speeding by before crashing into the house. And then the lady speaking out after whom, whose house it was that she crashed into. Now, granted, could they all be crisis actors or, you know, there's some conspiratorial it's true, they technically could be. That's not in the realm of impossibility, but yeah. It is kind of strange that when that was first reported, they were reporting her as a man. When I went to find footage of that helicopter footage for my short, the news were calling her a man, saying a man crashed into a house, which is kind of strange thinking about now. But I just presumed it was a mistake. Yeah, there's no cops anywhere. That is not Ellen's ex. I don't know where the fuck, I don't know how there's all these links saying that's, that's what it is, but it ain't. There's no fucking proof of this lady anywhere dating Ellen. There's no video of them together. It is fake. Go look for yourself. Yeah, this lady runs into a fucking house. No video of this wreck. <laughs> she don't date Ellen. And there's a bunch of imposter bullshit thrown together news sites on the internet. There is video. Just... So everybody knows there is video. There's helicopter footage of the house, etc. It's pushing the shit and being like, hit the GoFundMe. Yeah, that's all this is, bro. That's all this is. That's all the Kylie Rodney thing is. I mean, I mean, dude, th this makes the press conference make so much sense now. 
There's a reason why they can't give us no answers. No party pictures, just some bullshit Photoshop party pictures. I do believe law enforcement would want to do everything to hide anything like that happening because they would be extremely embarrassed. I do think that they would do everything they could to quarantine the information or quarantine the scenario. I don't even think quarantine's the right term, but to keep it under wraps. With what? With none of the people in the pictures. Why do you think when the police said, hey, we found the car and... Now, the fact that there's, like, no video or pictures and then the couple videos that were released were on some random Betty Lou channel, which is similar to how I saw stuff leaked during the death trial, where some generic channels popping up and releasing audio links and other things like that. Um, I think that is random, and it's crazy that it's 2022, and there were confirmed two to 300 kids. We only see the one picture of, like, 20 to 30 kids, and that's all we have. I wish I believed that law enforcement was wound that tight, that they didn't let anything leak. But even Jagger's Instagram, <clears throat> which Ryan says in a following video, he knows is fake for sure. Um... He didn't have any pictures, and granted, kid or guys at that age don't care as much as girls do about posting like pictures with their boyfriend or girlfriend. So it could just be that he didn't do it. But now every other post is him and Kylie, which is kind of strange. Jagger's Instagram nor Sammy's had any pictures of her that her and Kylie or him and Kylie before, but here's Jagger's now. Kylie's body and and Sammy got on Instagram and was like no they didn't because they didn't there ain't nobody there ain't no Kylie Rodney it's bullshit it's fake why you think nobody's seen the Kylie Rodney girl why you think all these photoshop pictures of the party have nobody in them that's point of interest where you think Ronnie came from if you switch around the letters to the name Kylie Rodney the way they spell it it comes out as I now this part hey it could be true I'm not throwing shade at the dude but I also know that when I've been researching true crime cases you can start to go into thinking everything is a clue or a factor. Killed Ronnie. They designed this shit to make motherfuckers look crazy and drive their self crazy. And while they're all going in different directions with different leads and, and this is why they make their self look completely guilty and, and they're like, oh, what? I wouldn't do anything. Yeah, because they really wouldn't do anything. They, they're not going to get in trouble for murder or nothing because... There's no, there's, there's nothing to be committed murder on. Yesterday, I traced that lady's name, Angela Mausoleum, back to some fucking chop shops. Now, I saw some people saying, that isn't her. When Zav pulled up the pictures of this lady, and it was her, in my opinion. There is some sort of connection, which is crazy. Maybe it's a small town, or maybe it is some big scandal. But it was her, in my opinion. Where do you think they got the car? That's why when I ran the plate on Ronnie Jones's shit, it came back, no one. That's why when I ran the tag on Kylie Rodney's car, it came back, no one. It's because same person put the same tag on the car. So I have to presume that Ryan probably has resources I could only dream to have access to. So to hear that he ran the plates, either plate, and they came back to no one, that's strange. I would have assumed that if ran, they'd come back under her parents' names, the vehicle being registered to her parents, but they came back as no one. That's okay. You ever notice how there's no actual picture with the Kylie girl and her CRV? There ain't one. They don't exist. When the Angela Mausoleum girl was like, call this number and, and look for this hoodie. It was a bullshit lead and a fucking bullshit tip line. I kept asking myself how they mistook the black sweatshirt for the white sweatshirt and her mom did say don't go down any rabbit holes about the lana del rey or lana del rey lyrics they're just a song but ultimately how was it mistaken that she was wearing a black hoodie or a white one 
And how do they not have any footage that supports either of them? Brain buster. I looked up her name and noticed, oh, what do you know? She's a cop and she works for some fucking news company. I looked up the news company. The news company's bullshit. On Google Earth, it's got a fucking green screened image put on a sign to some bullshit building. If you look on the building, it has a police badge on it and a number. When you type the number into Google and click fucking enter, it says impact 911. You go to that address and it's a chop shop where they got a, 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 a fucking hundreds of different kinds of cars. You could just fake deaths with all. Now I watched him, I think it's in his next video, unless it's <laughs> further in this one, him do every one of the things that he's talking about. The Google images, looking up the numbers and the addresses. And it's crazy what comes up. My question is, and it's scary even thinking about putting out a YouTube video about it, who would benefit from this? I'm having to assume either it's small and Ellie is going to go along with it so they don't look stupid or it's bigger than that. I'm not sure. All day. How can you fake a death? I mean, well, fuck, dude, if you're the police. I mean, shit. I mean, hello. You can make some bullshit documents, get a bullshit car, fucking get a bullshit tag, make a bullshit profile with a bullshit person, fucking... I don't know, fucking get rid of the car and be like, fuck, dude, this person's missing. We gotta find them. Go fund me. F free money. Hello. So here's the lady that's gone. This is the hoodie they told us to look for. It's a bullshit hoodie. Here's the tip line, right? 530-581-6320. This is a bullshit number. Look, now this is the only thing that comes up is these three things. Yesterday, when I screen recorded it, look what came up. These are gone now. But your boy screen recorded it. Look what it looked like the other day. When I typed that number in yesterday, look how much shit popped up. Look what it says. If you know them, it's time for the truth. Fashion Isha. Whatever the fuck that means. Sheriff Investigations California. <laughs> like, it's bullshit. Look, and when you take this address, 2501 North Lake Boulevard, all right, it is a fake police department, fam. I'm not even lying. Look. The Fashion Isha thing... It's just the result coming up for 530-58163 and then whatever last two numbers. It's something somebody reported on that phone number after getting a call from them. That's usually the case, which is strange. Maybe they did pop-up help centers. I don't know. All right, so you see this address? Watch this. Go over to Google Earth. Go to Google Earth. More recent searches. 2501 North Lake Boulevard. Click. Watch this. Dude. Look what that says. Placer County Superior Court. Watch this. <clears throat> what in the fuck is this? So I see it goes past the Placer County Circuit Court or Court. And goes to this lot. If anybody has any explanation for that, I'd love to hear them in the comments. This is bizarre. This ain't no damn sheriff's department, bro. When I type in Placer County Sheriff's Department. Look at all these different ones. Placer County Sheriff's Office. Placer County Sheriff's Office. Oh. Look, that's the real Placer Sheriff's Office. This is the bullshit Placer Sheriff's Office. There is a fake Sheriff's Office, bro. No, I might be called crazy, but uh, like, look at the bottom. Um, I was looking at all the shadows, how perfectly placed they are. They're like that in every picture. People said sometimes stuff looks weird like that, but they have... Uh, it's been proven satellite images have been photoshopped but like at the bottom there's a tree shadow that i don't see a tree for but ultimately what disturbed me is that the police cars look exactly like they do at the chop shop here's the cop cars from the chop shop um to compare if anybody even cares to but what kind of little white car is that uh, the last one on the left uh, maybe it doesn't have tires on it, but even its frame, is it like a little cop circus clown car or it's weird? What the fuck?
There's the real one. Obviously. But wait, there's more Placer County Sheriff's places. Ah, yes. Placer County Sheriff's Office. This house. Ah, yes. There's lots of Placer County Sheriff's Departments. They're everywhere. There's another Placer County Sheriff's Department here. Look at all these Placer County Sheriff's Departments, bro. Like, what in the fuck is going on? They have that many offices, but the officer in the beginning was talking about needing resources. That kind of contradicts that. What is this? And then back to this fake ass one in the middle of nowhere. The scary thing is, there's actually fucking cop cars at them. <laughs> Type in Placer County Sheriff's Office. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. There's the real one, and there's the real numbers. Hell, it's even got a non emergency number. The mausoleum lady had a, was, was, was hanging around and fucking with a, a fake sheriff's department, it seems like. All right, so you know the Angela lady? Angela Musalem. You're a fucking detective, a PI, a fucking sheriff, and you work for like three different news companies. All right, so if you go to the news company she worked for, what was it called? Fox 40. Look at this. Click Fox 40. All right. You go out front. Here's the building. All right. Quick street view. Look at the front of this fucking place. There ain't nothing indicating this actual news thing until you get to this bullshit fucking edited green screened on. I mean, it's, it's, it's fake, obviously. I mean, look at it. Hello? But look, when you go around the block. That looks exactly like the news production company or the station in my town. It looks very generic and there's gates that surround it and stuff. And But they do have a big sign above the building. I think it's NPC. So that is strange. And I actually believe them about the little sign. It looks weird. It doesn't change uh, according to the angle. It looks like a flat image, but I don't know a lot about that. I'd like to hear somebody that does. Actually, he probably knows about CGI and digitally enhanced or faked visuals than me, than a lot of people. So he's probably able to spot it from a mile away. This is fucking crazy. Click right here. What they got backed up right here? Oh, what do you know? A silver Honda CRV backed all the way up so you can't see the fucking tag plate. And you go outside the gate to look at if there's like any numbers or anything, you know? Look right here. You zoom in and what do you get? 916 640 0101. 916. It had the sheriff's emblem on it. So it's likely going to lead back to the sheriff's department, but that's strange for a news station. Or isn't it? I don't know. And sorry, she's making noises. And every time I go to record a part, she stops. So they keep starting with her like dinosaur noises. 6400101. You click it. Impact 911. I was like, Impact 911. Impact like a car crash and then 911. Okay, that's kind of weird. So I took it and went to Google Earth. Put that in the search bar. Click. Look where it goes. A dirty ass fucking chop shop area. What do you know? Look at all these fucking cop cars. What are these cop cars doing here, bro? Look at this. Look at us. It's like they used random municipal or law enforcement buildings for the contact numbers. That's weird. Fucking equipment. Trucks. A fucking shit yard across the street. You go over here, this ain't shit, but a place with a bunch of junk cars and containers. And look, you just got these hidden cop cars. Because this is supposed to be a security company. And it's not. There's no indication of a security company anywhere on this entire block. I already looked. So, yep. I'm done with this true crime shit. This is why Sammy and Megs and all them, this is why they have no emotion interacting with her. I mean, it's kind of hard to, you know, act like you know somebody that doesn't fucking exist. This is why we have no answers. This is why the tag plates don't match up. This is why the car was placed there after. This is why, this is why everything. This is why nothing makes sense. It's a scam to get fucking GoFundMe money or something. 
And that's about it. So, yeah, I'm going back to my regular life of doing cool shit and fucking, you know, being a musician. I'm done with internet crime stuff. I'm not interested anymore. That's what sucks about true crime sometimes is you're given answers and they don't add up. Or sometimes they do add up and it still sucks because the cases are heartbreaking and you just have to move on. But that's why there's so many true crime channels that, you know, further investigate or outsource closed cases because... Sometimes we still do have questions, and I hope that in the face of them not being answered or them being answered and it not making sense, that one doesn't give up because I think I think that the social media era is what's helped false narratives to be challenged, and we're not just forced to believe what we're told anymore and just that we're allowed to question things and further investigate and utilize our freedom of speech and i hope nobody gives up because of obstacles being laid in that path anyways if you made it this far i appreciate you i'm i feel half brain dead because of me not feeling well i don't know if i made any sense but I appreciate anyone who took the time to listen to my insights on this, and I hope you have a great day or night.